Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you this gorgeous purple black shimmery eye look. I think this look is perfect for any clubbing or any night out. Also, Holi is around the corner. So this can be a perfect look for Holi party as well. And before starting, if you are new here, then hi, I am Nita. I upload makeup, skincare and beauty related videos almost every alternative day. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and please help my channel to grow even more. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the video. First, I'm taking this wet and wild retractable eyebrow pencil in the shade deep brown and I'm just drawing the border of my eyebrows first then I'll be filling it in using smaller strokes. I have already shared with you my eyebrow routine. I will link that video down so please go ahead and check that out. Now I'm just combing my brows using the spoolie so that there is no patchiness or harshness whatsoever. Now I'm taking this Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C7 and I'm just cleaning up the borders of my eyebrows first so that my brows look well shaped and defined. And then I'm just applying the concealer all over on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows. And I'm just blending everything out using a damp beauty sponge. Now all the products and their shades everything will be mentioned in the description bar below so please do check that out. Now I'm taking this uh, Oriflame translucent loose powder and I'm just setting the concealer so that it does not crease. Now I'm taking this dark purple shade from my Beige Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and with this e.l.f. brush I'm just applying it slightly uh, above my crease because I have hooded eyes. If you do not have hooded eyes then apply the color directly on your crease. Now these eyeshadows are not as pigmented as they look in the pan. So take your time and build it up. Now I'm taking this light purple shade from the same palette and with the same elf brush I'm just diffusing the borders. I mean I'm creating a nice gradation from a lighter shade to a darker shade. I am also applying the same dark purple shade on my outer V area as well as on my inner corners. Now I am taking this uh, matte black shade from the same palette and I am just applying it all over on my eyelids. To be very honest with you guys, I did not like this black eyeshadow at all. I was using it for the first time. It was so patchy, so powdery, so uneven. I did not like it and at one point of time I thought that I I was gonna mess up but thankfully I managed to pull everything together. Now I'm using this uh, NYX glitter glue and I'm just applying it all over on my eyelids. Now there is a reason why I am doing it because I'm going to use a shimmer sh liquid shimmer eyeshadow. This is uh, the wet and wild cat shoot liquid eyeshadow in the shade black it is the newest black and i have taken some of it on the back of my hands first i'm just applying a very thin layer with a flat brush i will let it dry for a couple of minutes then i will apply a second layer now this is the best way to use these eyeshadows other than that it may become a bit crusty which actually happened with my second eye and i had to remove it completely so keep that in mind now i'm just applying the black shade on my outer v area to give it some more depth i'm just blending out the edges so that there is no patchiness I'm taking this bright pink color from the same palette and with a fluffier brush I'm just applying it on the borders just to neutralize the purple a bit and just to give it a pinkish hue. And this is exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to finish my face for that first I'm using this wet and wild photo focused photo focus primer and I'm just priming my face I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago 
Now I'm taking these two color characters from LA Girl. This is the yellow and orange characters and I mixed them together and I am just applying it underneath my eyes around my mouth and wherever I have pigmentation and dark spots just to neutralize all those darkness. Now I'm just blending everything out using the same damp beauty sponge. Now for my foundation I'm using this Maybelline Satin Dream foundation in the shade pure beige and I'm just buffing it in using the same damp beauty sponge. This is again a great foundation. Now for highlighting and for concealing, I'm using the same concealer and I'm just applying it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape. On the center of my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, keep it both chin around my mouth as well as just under here I'm going to place my contour next. I'm just blending everything out using the same damp beauty sponge. As I always say, blending out your highlighting concealer is must. Other than that, it won't look good. Now I'm going to bake my under eyes as well as my smile lines. And that means I'm applying a tons of loose powder underneath my eyes and on my smile lens because I get creases on those areas pretty quickly. And I will let it sit for a couple of minutes before dusting it off. Now for my entire face, I'm using this uh, Rimmel pressed powder and with a powder puff, I'm just setting my entire face. To finish my eye makeup, first I'm just applying this Maybelline Colossal Kajal in the shade black which I got from India and I'm just applying it on my waterline as well as I'm tight lining with it. Now taking the black eyeshadow I'm just smudging out my lower lash line for that I'm using an angled brush. Taking the purple shadow I'm smudging out my lower lash line even more so that everything looks put together. I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm just dusting off the excess powder using this e.l.f. highlighting brush. Using my Makeup Revolution Pro Illuminate Highlighter, I'm just highlighting my brow bones as well as my inner corners. Now for my falsies, I'm going to use these uh, Kiss Lashes and Buster of the camera and here is the complete eye look. These lashes are so good, they are so wispy and they are just beautiful. I'm going to finish my face makeup, for that I'm using this Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade Suntan and I'm just carving out my face like the hollows of my cheeks, jawline forehead also i'm going to contour my nose a bit this is again a nice and great bronzer you know this is perfect for contouring as well as for bronzing up your face i'm using this limel maxi blush in the shade wild card i believe yes and with this wet and wild angled brush i'm just applying it on my cheeks for my highlighter, again I'm using this Wet n Wild Pro Illuminate Highlighter and with this fan brush, I'm just hitting the high points of my face. Like my cheekbones, chin, cupid bow, down the bridge of my nose, as well as the sides of my forehead. I'm just setting my entire makeup using this L'Oreal Lumi Makeup Setting Spray, I believe. And now I'm just lining my lips as well as filling them up using this wet and wild lip liner in the shade later on the mauve for my lips i'm using this physician's formula healthy lipstick in the shade very healthy this is a stunning mauveish pink color and this is a perfect nude color for my skin tone and here is the complete look I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. 
Also, if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below, so please do check that out. So, see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.